Good afternoon. Back in the saddle again. I just got back from Jerusalem and I've been watching the uh, Hebrew news and you have two basic channels in the Hebrew news. That's channel 14 and channel 12. One is on the left, one is on the right. Guess who's on the left? That's right. Channel 12 is on the left. Now, I've been watching the news and they're just so amazed by the fact that after places like Kanyunas, which means nothing to you, but it's one of the bigger cities in Gaza, and Nagel uh, Shechem and all of the cities uh, in northern Judea and Samaria, that they thought were clean of terrorists are now over brimming with terrorists, terrorists everywhere, terrorists to the right of us, terrorists to the left of us, volleyed and thundered. How did this happen? Well, Israel, there's just one thing to say. Good morning, Vietnam. Making the same mistakes that we made in Vietnam over and over and over again. You clear an area and you think it's free of terrorists. No, it's not free of terrorists. Terrorists grow like mushrooms in the rain. And they all have guns and they all kill our people. There's only one thing. We have to be like General Sherman in the Civil War. Just burn every fucking thing down. Destroy every building. Take all of the people and put them in safe areas. And then bomb them there if they actually, actually entertain groups of uh, terrorists with missiles that will kill our people. Otherwise, leave them alone. Give them food. Give them rest. But remember, anything we do to keep them happy, alive, and prosperous will just merely breed another generation of terrorists that will come back and kill our children and our grandchildren. This is a war, as we say, existential, but not for the Muslims, not for the Palestinians, only for the Jews. The Muslim world has got plenty of people to replace the people that are dead. We don't. We Jews don't. Each Jewish death, I just want you to know, is the world that's died for us. We don't have that many Jews. Hey, guess what, kids? We're not millions and millions of Jews harmed to the teeth. We're only a few million people, mostly men, women, and children. And with one of the most modern about the smallest idea, armies, armies in the world. I've been in the Israeli army for 25 years. I came here after spending six years in the Marine Corps. I know what the Israeli army is like. I raised through the ranks from basically a squad leader to a, to a platoon leader to a assistant company commander and to a assistant a battalion commander. I spent my time undercover. I spent my time with the Palestinians. I speak Arabic. I've been talking to them recently, not because we're at war again. And we have to understand, and if we don't understand this, well, why fight a war and waste our children and our sons and our infrastructure on fighting a war that if we use all of the tactics that got us out of Afghanistan, that lost us the Vietnam War, that will always, always, always cause us to go to war again, then we will fight again. And each time we fight, we lose. What to me, is an unacceptable percentage of our young generation. Now, please, America, stop this bullshit. Give us your support and let us go out and end this war the way Sherman ended the war. Because we have no alternative. I know this sounds bad, and I'm sorry if I've offended anybody. But if you fight a war, you fight it to win, and you do whatever is necessary. Otherwise, what the fuck are you doing getting involved in a war that you don't want to fight by the standards of the people that you're fighting against? Have a wonderful day, my friends. Let's hope that something good happens to change 
our minds and the minds of the American people. So long for now.